Today, we're going to show you guys how to solve the SD card not registering on the ROG Ally. Let's get into it. Okay, guys. So before we get started here, um, I do want to uh, kind of cover the issue at hand uh, that people are facing. Now, there are uh, legitimate people um, stating that their SD cards are frying. Um, that could very well be. Um, I had the same issue when the Steam Deck uh, first released. I actually went through two one terabyte SanDisk Extreme uh, cards within a month, and it was devastating. Um, that could very well be one of the issues we're facing here with these uh, SD cards. Um, I don't know the reason. Is it because they're getting hot uh, for whatever reason? Uh, I don't know. Um, but that's one of the issues with SD cards that we're facing. The other is that after updates um, or just out of the blue, uh, let's just say your SD card isn't registering. It's not showing up anymore. And that's what we're going to cover here today. Okay. So as you guys can see, um, this is a Samsung 512 gigabyte Pro. Um, this came out of my Steam Deck. This has uh, almost uh, 400 and something gigabytes, I believe, of indie games on it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and use this um, as our example. Okay. Now, also, um, I put a brand new uh, card in here as well, and it still didn't show up. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this card in here. And uh, you guys should hear the card register okay you can see down below um, here that it did uh, pop up there so if we hit that it says eject SDXC card okay um, that's fine you can eject that but let's say we want to go in here and format this card uh, we're gonna come over here to uh, file explorer and we're gonna come to this PC and as you can see it doesn't show up now, this is the issue that people are facing. It's not showing up. So what we're going to do to solve this is we're going to go ahead and uh, close this out. And we're not going to use a mouse today. We're going to use um, just the controls on the ROG Ally. So we're going to come down here to uh, the start icon. And we are going to right click on it, which is the R2 button here. And we're going to come up here to disk management. And then we're also going to use the right bumper here to select that. Now, once this pops up, you can see right here is our SD card, right here. Okay, it says healthy primary partition. There's nothing wrong with this card. Even though it didn't show up, it doesn't mean our card is fried. It's just not showing up. So how to fix this? We're gonna come down here. We're gonna select it with the right bumper. We're gonna write, uh, or R2. We're gonna hit the R2, and we're gonna delete volume. Okay, that's going to delete this partition. Okay, it says yes, we're going to delete it. It'll take just a second. Okay, now it's unallocated. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to right click it and we're going to hit new simple volume, this top one right here. Okay, and you're going to follow these prompts next, yes. Uh, yes, this is all just standard. Yes, next. Yes. Now you can change this if you want. I just leave it. It's, you don't need to change it for anything. So hit next. Okay. Now this is important. We do want NTFS. Um, leave all everything at the default. And then what I like to do is right here, you can change the name here. Um, because I'm using the ROG Ally and I am also using the Steam Deck, I'm going to go ahead and rename this. Um, ROG Indies. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to hit the right bumper, select that. We're going to hit the M1 button on the back of the ROG Ally and press up on the D-pad. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and just delete this. And we're going to do ROG Indies. Okay. I'll close that out. And then now that I have that, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit next. And then you're going to hit finish. Okay. It's going to create a new partition for you. Okay. As you can see, that is done. Now we're back to healthy basic data partition. Okay. We're not done yet. 
Okay. Now that that partition is created, we have to make sure that Windows can use this card. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are uh, going to right click on it again and we're going to hit format. Okay. Now we got to format this card. We're going to format it. And up here it says new volume. Again, we're going to name this the same thing as before. Okay. We'll right click on that. We're going to hit M1 and up and we're going to delete this. And we are going to get, again, I'm going to do R O G Indies. Okay. Click out of that. Now what we want to do is you, under file system, you want windows to be able to read this. So we're going to go back to NTFS. Okay. Leave everything else default. Okay. We're going to hit okay. Formatting this volume will erase all data on it. We're fine with that. Okay. We're going to go okay. And this is going to take a little bit longer. Okay. Now it says select to choose what happens with removable, removable drives. We don't need to worry about that. You guys can, I just leave it as default. And what that means is that um, when you go to remove it, it'll ask you to, you know, safely remove, yada, 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 so on and so forth. So now our card is completely ready to use. Now I'm going to show you something here. Well, we can close this out now. We don't need this. And we are going to come down back to the file explorer, right bumper. And now you can see it showing up down here as ROG Indies and drive D. Absolutely amazing. Let's go to this PC and look at that, guys. There's your SD card. Okay. One more thing we need to do. Okay. Because you want Steam to be able to um, identify this card. Okay. So we're going to close it out. And we are going to go back into Armory Crate. Uh, it says, do you want to set this as default? I don't want it to set it. I want a choice. So I'm just going to say cancel. Now we're going to come uh, over here. We're going to launch Steam. Whoops. Wait for it to log in here. Okay, now what we're going to do is uh, we are going to uh, go back. You hit B button to go back. And uh, actually, we'll just do this. We'll swipe up. Go back out here. Do, do, do. We'll do it this way. Okay, I'm going to hold down here. I'm going to go exit big picture. Okay, we'll just put this back down here now. Make sure we're, our focus is good. Okay, now we're going to come up here and we're going to go to uh, Steam and we're going to come down to settings. Okay, now we're going to come down here to storage. And then up here, you can see that uh, we have our C drive. This is our uh, internal uh, SSD. Um, we're going to go here to plus and it's already going to pull it up automatically. There's our ROG Indies. We're going to add that. Okay, and there you go. Uh, now you can just close this out. And we are going to go into view and we're gonna go to, uh... no, we're not gonna do that. I'm just going to close it out. We'll swipe up again and we'll go back to Armory Crate. We'll just relaunch Steam. Uh, I guess we have to do it this way. Come down here and we're going to go big picture. Okay, now let's just say you guys want to install a game to test this out. Um, these are some of the games I bought during the summer sale. Um, let's just say, it doesn't matter which one, let's just say we're going to add this to the library. We're going to install, and look at that, guys. There's your SD card. Install, have fun, play. If your guys' uh, cards ever do that, this is, a, this is a th same thing you're going to do every time, um, and you guys should be fine. And if more people knew this, I think a lot less people would be saying their cards were fried. So I hope this tutorial is a blessing to you guys. Um, I hope that you guys can go ahead and uh, put your SD cards back in there, uh, format them, and get to playing some awesome games on your ROG Ally. And with that, we're going to see you guys on the next video.